Hold on, work calls.
ですね。
ね。
Sorry, dealing with a, a little work matter. Apparently our new website is not pointing to the right DNS, but the DNS records were correct. So now we're waiting to see if Pronto screws something up on their end. What's going on? Anyway, tonight I was trying to get uh, <clears throat> a couple more streaming hours under my belt. Doing some Path of Exile. <clears throat> This is a typical Nagamu's Flame Cyclone build. Big old fiery guy with a big axe that likes to twirl in place. I like to call it the spin to win. Kind of reached the limit of this class though. And I'm reaching the end game. So, the only way I can improve now is get to the max level of 100 and get nine, uh, 10 more passive points to put into the build, which will make some big differences. So I'm just grinding out some more experience to try to get through those levels. In the meantime, I'm going to keep an eye on our website and see if it's eventually, oh, it just went through. Website's up. Woot. Hey, okay, so that's fixed. <laughs> Game on. So burning through experience, I'm just doing uh, some high level maps. <clears throat> Those of you that have never seen Path of Exile before, it's like Diablo, except there's like Ten times as much content to the game. And it's free to play. You don't have to pay for the client. You download for free. You don't have to pay monthly fee or whatever. You play it as much as you freaking want. I want to identify that. So I, in my case, I have gone through the storyline and like many online games today there's a campaign you go through the storyline for instance this one's got uh, three parts part uh, one has five different acts with a storyline going through it then part two has five more acts you get through and then you reach the end game which is going after the shaper who is uh, taking control of our world uh, bits and pieces at a time. So you start in the outer areas of this atlas where each of these dots are a map. It's kind of like a, a dungeon. And you succeed in completing the bonus and defeating the boss of each one. And as you get closer to the center, they get harder and harder and harder and harder. And eventually, you will see... <laughs> Thanks to maybe yours for the follow. Still haven't turned that thing down. That thing is loud. So in the areas of the map as you're getting in, there is uh, an area 
that is influenced by the shaper and then those become further corrupted and they become elder influenced and eventually if I can get the elder area larger it just it doesn't quite grow on its own I kind of convert the shaper areas to add into the size of the elder area eventually the shaper in his lieutenants will appear in this area and then the very last event of the game is to defeat his lieutenants and then the shaper itself and then basically you kind of complete the game but you can still play through the maps and grind as much as you want to for now I just need experience Oops, I didn't want to turn that off. This is one of the new masters, Einhar. Every once in a while you'll find some rare beasts out in the maps, and he'll join you and he'll capture the beasts for you after you defeat them. Then you can go visit your menagerie full of beasts, and you can do ritual sacrifices to either create new items or enchant your items. Comes a tough beast. The red one is like the leader of them. This game definitely has a lot of choices as far as how you want to play the game. For instance, here is the skill map. Now the base class you pick basically determines where on the map you start. Can't quite remember who is who. But there's like a Templar, a Scion, a Duelist, uh, an Archer... A witch and then I am playing the uh, marauder <clears throat> at some point you can reach ascension where you do these trials and you can ascend into three different classes based on your starting class 
So my marauder has uh, ascended into a uh, war chief. And then that has got some pretty powerful abilities going behind it. And then the points you spend along this map determine what abilities and effects you have. I took a lot of two-handed and uh, damage with axes. A lot of maximum life increases. A lot of attack speed increases. Uh, endurance charges, which helps with my defense. <clears throat> and right now, I'm just trying to get a few more levels in to finish... Uh, what was the last thing I was working on? I think we were trying to unlock a few more uh, jewel sockets. Jewel sockets are where you can put... Actually, I've got a few in there already somewhere. Uh, there's one. So there's jewels you can find which add to the effects of your skills. That's not all. The skills you actually use in-game, like the cyclone ability I have, is called a skill gem. It's based on a gem that you find or you purchase from a merchant, and you level those up, increasing the power of that skill. <clears throat> and then your gear comes with slots and links and some of your skills support other skills as long as they're linked together so there is a lot to this game <laughs> a hell of a lot more than uh, most of the other diablos and clones and in this league they have introduced uh, the new masters june here is one of them she is hunting down a group known as the Syndicate. This is our board for tracking them down. Tracking uh, who has uh, friendships with one of the others. If they're neutral. Uh, what department they fall in under the Syndicate. There's the transportation guys, fortification guys, the research guys, the intervention guys, which are the guys that try to kill you is basically their job they'll uh, try to assassinate you while you're out running around uh, but you capture these guys defeat them either doing either when they're trying to assassinate you or you find a lab you invade it to, to get information uh, or you come across a fortification you try to break into it defeat the whoever's guarding it to get information or you find a caravan of their stolen goods or whatever defeat whoever is leading that caravan to get information on these captains and when you've got enough information you can attack that safe house uh, basically defeat the captain loot all its goods and then you put him in prison and you get points toward finding out who the mastermind is and once you complete that that's like a, a small little raid encounter with its own uh, mechanics and stuff which right now we figured out uh, it's always the same character. All of these other characters flip around and change a lot. But uh, this uh, uh, league, there's only one mastermind, and I've already defeated her once. So it'll be the same mastermind each time. Apparently they're going to introduce a new mastermind each league. That way it'll change out more often. But this is just one of the new masters. And this is a laboratory. So we're going to break in here and learn a bit about their research. To do that, we got to stop them from destroying evidence. Oh, where's the door? There's a door. Well, that was it.
So Hillock was the leader of the, the research lab, so now we get to determine his fate. Making a new friend I am. We can put him in prison and interrogate him. We can hold three guys, interrogate them. Uh, he can be interrogated for three turns, getting five research points per turn, but he loses a rank. He's currently a rank two. We want them to be rank three when they become captains and we invade their safe house. Because that means more loot. So I can either imprison him, he'll lose a rank back down to just one star. But I will get a total after three turns, I'll get 15 points in research, which is almost going to bust. Or I can bargain with him and he and Jorgen become trusted friends and I gain plus four intervention intelligence. Where is Jorgen? Jorgen under, well, Jorgen's not even on the map yet. What the hell? Anyway, I've got a spot open here, so I'm going to interrogate him. <clears throat> He's going to drop Take some loot. Dog. And in this league, they kind of change crafting a bit. We can learn how to craft by these. Cool winds. Unveiling these enchantments on some of these items that drop. So I've already learned how to do that craft. So I've got two other options I can choose. 6% chance to avoid elemental damage from hits during soul gain prevention. 1% of evasion ratings generated per life. I like that one. So it'll put that on this item. And from now on we can craft that ability if we wanted to. And that's that's pretty much it for the lab. Wasn't quite enough to complete the safe house. We're 90% for that one. Nah, I didn't bargain with him, so they won't be friends. Basically, what a friend, if they're friends, then they'll help each other out. So if uh, you manage to attack one or they attack you, the other guy will show up. This is the boss of this map. Or it was the boss of this map. Now, currently I'm doing like tier 11 maps, which is pretty easy for this character, but I can grind through them real quick just to get experience. Anything built? This is my armory stash. And I'll show you, uh, once we find a couple more rings, I'll show you why I collect all of this. I collect helmets, armor, gloves, boots, belts, two rows of rings, amulets, and one-handed weapons. The reason why you save these without identifying them is you can sell them to a merchant, a full set. A one helmet, one chest, one glove, one basically one of everything, two rings, two single-handed weapons, and you get currency back. The odd thing about this game, which was really weird to start with when you first played it, is there is no coin. There's no currency. There's no gold, silver, whatever you want. Instead, there's this is currency. The simplest currency is a scroll fragment. You get enough of those, well, it creates a scroll of wisdom, which identifies a magic item. Then there's scrolls, portal scrolls, which allow you to port back to town. And then eventually you start finding these other things. Now, all of these things do various things. For instance, uh, this is probably the next simplest one. It upgrades a normal item into a magic item. Reforges magic items. Random modifiers. Uh, upgrades a normal item to a random rarity. Uh, this changes the number of sockets in an item. So those six holes. This 
changes the links between the sockets. This changes the colors of the sockets and so on. There's all kinds of different ones, but I think the base dollar currency in this game would be the Chaos Orb. A lot of people use the Chaos Orb as the de facto uh, determination of what a valued item is worth. The big thing that everybody wants is the Exalted Orbs. Currently in the exchange, the Exalted Orb goes for 130 Chaos Orbs. So if I take that math, I've got about 150 Chaos Orbs with that one Exalted I've got stored away. And the cool thing about the stash, all of these different tabs, this is a currency tab where you store all your currency stuff. I've got the map tab for all the maps that drop for the end game runs. Then there's cards that can drop. See, I've got a couple here, and we're going to put those in my card tab. Eventually you'll get... When you get enough of the same card to complete the set, you can turn those in for whatever it is that they provide. Then there are essences that can drop from certain mobs. You collect those. They uh, offer a chance to create a magic item with specific properties. There's various shards that can drop that... Uh, create new areas or maps this is my cell tab you could actually uh, right click a tab and make it public and when you do that any items you put in here and you place a value on will show up on this website called poe goods and they can shop or as long as you're online they could shop all your stuff that you have in your public tab and see the value that you've placed on them and then they can just chat to you and say hey i would like to buy that bow for 50 chaos orbs and then they just you join have them join your party and then they come to your hideout where they can meet you and then you just trade <clears throat> there is an option in the game though you could do what's called uh sff which is self find only which means you do not get access to join or trade with other players <clears throat> that this game's hard enough <laughs> without because some of these builds that uh, really exceed into the end game require specific items and trying to find those items on your own takes forever all right back to grinding grinding red maps actually let me put the rest of this stuff away <clears throat> Unique items. I've already got all the unique items that I use for this build. Naganmu's Flame, obviously. Build needs a Naganmu's Flame Axe. A helmet that increases my attack speed as well as my movement speed. This one is not called for, but it's like a very high-end belt. So I use it. The rest of it. Oh, Bronze Lith was the big one. That was the toughest piece to get. And I found it cheap because it was corrupted, which means if you corrupt an item, it changes it randomly. You can get some really good things out of it when you corrupt it, but you also could really screw some up. Because <laughs> after you corrupt something, it cannot be changed any further. And my problem is I needed this six socket here to be blue, and it's not. So I can't run that six jewel that I wanted to put in this, this linked <clears throat> these boots aren't called for for this build but it works really well with it so i just held on to them and then just a standard uh kind of use your amulets and your rings to keep track and build up your resistances because your resistances have a soft cap of 75 percent so even though my fire resistance has a total of 128 percent only 76 percent of that counts <clears throat> and that can work that can be modified on a map too you can get a map with an ability that says all your resistances are reduced by 50% well as my fire resistance would still be soft capped take 50% away 
So you want to try to get these up to like 110. Anyway, so what I'm going to do with this is I store these away. Possibly trade with other friends in the guild. We have a guild stash where we store stuff and share items. Oh, that's that identify stuff. And I don't need any more belts. Let's identify it, make sure it's not really awesome. It's not really awesome, so I'll sell it. And you get bits and pieces back. Just tuck those away. Alright, next map. Quit talking so much. Here we go, the syndicate's trying to assassinate me. Oh. Uh-oh, what's going on? Looks like the game locked up on me. Or the server's lagging? Yep, the server just lagged up. Okay, cool. Yep, I just lost that map. Okay, cool. Do you know? Back again. Right, so the Syndicate tried to assassinate me. Jorgen brought Camaria with him. Defeated them both. So now I get to figure out what I want to do with them. No exception. So I can interrogate him for a little bit of points and intervention, or I can execute him, which case we're all immortal, so he'll come back anyway, but he'll get a, a plus one rank, so he'll be rank two instead of rank one. Absolutely brutal! No! My kind of murderer. For Chimera, I can interrogate him for a few points, or I can make a bargain with him, an additional rare that item will drop with a field mod. Do that. Great. Can we hurry this up? Cool winds. We'll figure out what this is. Uh, that's already maxed, so I already learned that one. This is new. Plus to armor and plus to maximum energy shield. Or I can complete this one, which is 8% chance that your flash do not consume charge. This is that one. So now I know how to do that crafting option. Fun stuff.
So more beasts on this map, so Ironheart is joining us. Every once in a while you'll find strong boxes. <clears throat> you can identify them. And they'll tell you what they are. It's a detonates nearby corpses guarded by three packs of monsters. So if you click on it, three packs of monsters will show up and you have to defeat them all. And then it will spit out a bunch of loot. Now you don't see a lot because I have a filter on. Which actually I need to turn it up even a little further while I'm thinking about it. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Bye. Put this on strict. So now it's not even showing anything. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of stuff there. See, if I hit the alt to show all items, this is all the stuff that was actually dropped. Just that none of it's really worth it at this point, so the filter doesn't show it. One of my skill gems ranked up. A couple of them did. The last two I've been working on. The rest of them are already maxed out. So we have the option to defeat the boss on the map, but we don't have to. Because all I'm doing is just grinding for some experience. But if I keep going up to tougher maps, there's a good chance I might get killed. And if I get defeated, well, you just spawn back at your base and you can go back into the map. But at this high a level, when you die, you lose like a really good amount of your experience. Like at this level in the 90s, you could spend, I think I spent... Probably six hours to get this much experience, and one death could take three hours away. That wasn't even the red beast. That was a pretty tough one.
We'll feed the ones we caught. Alright, at this point going across is going to the boss and I don't want to risk death and losing a bunch of wasted time, so just grinding for experience. Yeah, we got Gavel, we got Mjolnir! I got Mew Mew! Pretty cool. Uh, old stuff. See if anybody wants to use it. Let me tell your future. Fate will find you. Put a little stank on it, make it magical so it adds a few things. Also on the map, when I'm doing these, you can modify using the sextants. Sextants. Which are these modifiers here. These are for white maps, yellow maps, and red map areas. But I can only have three going at once. And I've got three over in this area and then all together for instance they're all modifying this map so it's got all of these modifiers added to it so if i run this map not only does it have the modifiers of the map but it has all of these modifiers to the map as well and you can have what is it more than eight going at the same time so there's one two three four five six seven there so on a map if you make it rare we'll have like four to five modifiers itself so really little ways you can tweak this game in every certain way you can it's cute Rivers must be being bombarded or something tonight. Everybody's playing. This is what I needed. Speed. Speed train. Try to catch me. <laughs> Here's a caravan. I will still burn. 
So Corel was leading the caravan and it that fled came to his aid. <laughs> yes, yes. Send it to the dark place. He has no ranks, so we'll execute him and he'll get a rank. Did you set out to go and he'll drop some cool stuff. Looks like defeating these guys also was enough to get to unlock the safe house, so we can now raid that safe house. You are brutal. Rails rank two. Would have liked you if they didn't want to throw you into the caldera. What would you have me do, murderer? Transportation points. Uh, we're going to interrogate him, which is going to lower his rank. Now the rank's important because the higher rank they are, the better gear they'll drop. And you definitely want to try to get the captains that are in the safe houses to rank 3. So that when you raid the safe house. Problem is Haku is not friends with anybody. He's He works with Hillock, but he won't come to Hillock's aid. That's the only real way I can get him out of the safe house to try to get him up a rank. We'll go play with the safe house here in a minute. Let's finish this map. A single word. Okay. Hey, there's Xana. We'll wait to go check her out. See what she's got for us. So here's one of the things you can encounter. It's these creatures that have been frozen or crystallized. And these are the kites or creatures that drop essences. So these two will drop screaming essences. So you click on them a few times to unlock them, but get ready for the fight first. It's the essences. Finish up the map. That's the way to the boss. I don't care about. Take care of the mobs. see what Xana wants. So Xana is one of the older masters. She's the one whose father's been corrupted by the Shaper. And we're doing pretty much fighting through all of this for her quest line. However, every once in a while you'll see her in a map and she has like a mini map she wants you to run. So it's like a, a map inside a map. It's Mapception. Darkness looms on the horizon and we need to stop it. Let's get ready to work. So in this league, she no longer just throws open a portal. You actually get to pick what map you want her to open up. Which has been great for trying to find the maps that hasn't dropped. If you find her and she just happens to have the lava chamber map that you couldn't get to, you can run it for her and it'll count for your completeness. What do I want to run? So one of the things I look for to avoid is anything with uh, temporal chains because it slows me down and my spinning just isn't fast enough to keep up. 
I get hit way too much. Reflect is usually a bad thing too, but I haven't had any issues with it in this build. Looks like this map has the biggest bonus and it's a tier 14 map, so it's going to have more experience. So let's pick that one. Something on the other side of my map device has gotten a hold of a divination card. One that so she wants us to energy that I... she wants us to enter the map area, find the divination card, and don't die or leave Zanis map. And there's only one portal. So if you die or leave the map, then you fail. You haven't found that card yet. Yeah. And there it is. There's a map. This is Soulfight. This is one of the other new masters. <laughs> Good eye, Exile. He manages the delve, which is like a mine that is bottomless. For finding the sulfite for him, you could use it to power a little mining cart that takes you deeper and deeper and deeper into the mining delve. There's the divination card she wanted, so we completed her task. Some more sulfite over here. So I'm up to about 4,000 sulfite. My cap is 22,000. Even though we completed Xana's mission, I'm doing this for experience, so I'm going to clean it out as much as I can. Try not to get killed, because it's a tier 14. And the highest is a tier 16. There's the boss. Not all the maps have an arena door. Some of them, the boss can be just out in the map, so you gotta be careful when you're running maps. Eventually, you'll, you'll remember which map to do that and avoid them or. Then depending on your build, some maps are just easier than others. So you might try to find or trade for those maps from other players and then just run those if you want. So here is a syndicate fortification. Oh, there's some more sulfide. What's this at? 5,300? So here's a fortification for the syndicate. We could raid this fortification. No to do so, we have to break down a door. But while we're doing that, they're going to spawn in mobs. Get inside. And die. I, I lost about a bar and a half, I think. Wasn't too bad. Thought it'd be a hub a lot more than that. Can't go back in there because that was Xana's map, and she only had that one portal. But we can. We got that card, so we completed her task. I doubt you when we met Exile. And other than the boss, we are done with this map too. So go back home. Clean up.
Oh, we can get that identified. Hello. What is this? Three things that I already know. So it doesn't matter what we pick for crafting wise because I already got all three of these. And some of these are weird. Some of them go up to various ranks. These two have four ranks worth of effects. While well, this one only has three because the bar is full and so it can't advance further. I'm sure it won't. Yeah, I see nothing. We don't learn anything new. Fight that old thing. Let me tell you. So those fate awaits you. Oops. Store the money. Uh, essences go here. Maps go here. Divination cards go here. Alright, before we do the next map, we had a safe house we could raid. Okay, so we're going to go raid the research safe house where the Haku at rank 2 is guarding the place. It looks like he's got a couple items. He's got lightning resistance cloak. And a helmet that consumes corpses for life, but there's no corpses that are going to be around him, so I don't think see how that's going to help. Right, these are just a run and gun to, to, to get to the safe house. Still, I want to try to kill everything for experience, right? Right, here's a safe house. And we only... Well, Haku might call on friends, but he didn't have anything. Or have any, so... It might be just him. He might call Hillock. Yep, there's Hillock. Alright, 
So, Haku is now defeated. With him, the only option you will get is to interrogate, because he will give you Mastermind Intelligence, which will increase this. Three points for three turns. I'm going to put us at 93. Dropped a few things. We can get... Oh, she's standing right there. Well, we can't talk to her yet. So now you get to go loot the safe house. See what they got stored away. We got a crafting bench. Modify a flask quantity quality to 22%. Ooh, where's my new one? This one. 22%? So the quality of items increases their effectiveness. Normally, you can only use some of the, the currency items to increase. For instance, uh, glass bores, baubles increase the quality of flasks and potions. Uh, armor's bauble increases the quality of armor. can't remember what the one is for weapons. But normally, when you use those, you can only get to 20%. But this league, things like this allow us to get past 20%, in this case, 22%. Uh, I think I had something like that on, what was it, one of my, yeah, my armor. I did the similar thing to my armor, so its quality is actually plus 30%. Another way to modify your stuff. All of it just continually stacks on top of each other and gets some really good combinations and synergies going. Uh, stash. It's all crap. Because Haku was only ranked 2. Yep. So that's it for the safe house. So Gravicus takes over as the captain of the safe... The, the, of the research house... And it's back down to zero. Hello. All right, that one's complete. This one we can increase the rank of this craft. Increase the quality of socketed gems. Or it looks like we can increase this one too. Increase cold damage and chance to freeze. Let's do this one. So now I know how to do that craft. Let me tell you. See you. I'm full on belts. Much. Let me tell you. Fate awaits you. So let's go look at a couple other things. Here's another master that was actually in the league a couple leagues ago. Alva. She's on the search for an ancient pyramid lost in a jungle somewhere. But she's learned how to Manipulate time and visit the temple in the past where you can change some of the rooms and the effects and the people, the guys that you kill in the room determine what that room evolves into in the present. Eventually, when you do it enough times, you can then raid that whole temple. And the goal is to unlock the entrances between the rooms. So you could get to the top, the apex where the boss of the temple is. See, for instance, I've got one recursion remaining for this one. Hopefully she picks this room so I can finish this link. Or the vault, and I could just link it there. That way I can go from, when we do the complete raid, I can go from the entrance all the way to the top. And then, as I mentioned, Nico's the other master. 
of the Delve. So we collect this Sulfite for him. The Sulfite powers the minecart, which allows us, to, gives us light to make it through the darkness. If I go visit the mine encampment. There's a Voltaxic Generator. Voltax is powered by Azurite. Azurite is a mineral you find while doing the, doing the delve. So there's an Azurite fissure there. There's one there. And you use that on the generator here to increase your light radius as far as, as you go deeper down. Uh, defense against the darkness, because the darkness hurts. If you get caught in the dark and away from your minecart, you actually start taking damage. You can increase the capacity of the sulfite you find out in the maps. Then there's two items you can carry. Flares, which light up a small area for a certain amount of time. In this case, I can carry seven flares that last 17 seconds, which you can modify. And the light is only a 10% radius. You can upgrade that as well. Then there's dynamite. Dynamite, you can craft how many you can carry, how much damage they do, and how big the blast is. Dynamite is great for breaking up, uh, just getting through breakable walls in the delve, because there's some areas that are secret, like right here. The only way to get to this is to find the path that leads to a breakable wall to get over here. For me, though, I'm just trying to get as far as I can into the delve to help with experience. So if I go down here, that's a level depth of 140. The monsters down there are level 76 and I'm trying to get up to about monster level 80s which is where I'm getting starting to get some better experience so we've got we don't have a whole lot but we've got enough we can do a few runs so let's go down through this one and the cyclone build is great for the Azerite mine delve because here's your minecart and once you kick off the run to the next spot, it'll start going and it lights your way. So you gotta follow it. If you get behind it, it will slow down to let you catch up. If you get caught in the darkness, you start taking damage. What's worse is in the darkness, monsters are immune to damage. So you never wanna get caught in the dark. Now the cool thing is, if you get in front of the cart, the cart will speed up to ca stay up with you. But, you gotta know which way the cart's going. So we found this encampment of heroes, defeated them to take control of this node, and we can open up these armaments. Hello, there's a bunch of divination cards. Pick those up. An unidentified ring, an unidentified belt, an unidentified ring. Sweet. Then if you want, you can walk along your path where it, the mining cart left a little like safety rope with some light. So if you think you want to go out into the darkness and figure out what's out there, you can, but it requires having the flares you need. I'm trying to remember what I put those on. throw a flare down so you're safe again but it only lasts like 17 seconds in my case but like I might decide hey is there anything over here no nothing over here or you can just go to the next node if we want to get a bunch of azurite we can go to this tier 3 one I'll probably do that uh, that's a bunch of currency that's a tier 1 azurite node there's some jewelry at this one but you can only do pretty much to connect the dots. So to go to the ring one, I have to go to this one first, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to do this one because I can't pass up a rank 3 sulfurite node.
Oh, cart turned. <laughs> Alright, so let's activate the Sulfurite node. Or Azurite node, sorry. all the mobs then we can pick up all the azurite in the drums plus the good stuff so that filters at work so you can't see anything until I reveal it all yeah there's a lot of stuff that drops you thought Diablo was a loot uh, Pinata. Got all that stuff. Okay, we can't go to the currency bomb until we get to this one. Dang it. One's only a tier a rank one, so it's gonna be pretty simple. Let's go get the currency. Caches with a check. Did it just just one over here? That sucks. All right, so now we can go this way.
Okay, so this is a necromancy site. We can't activate this until we finish the event. things out here actually a lot of things out here bam All right going down is the goal so let's go that way Oh, somebody wants to buy something. Let's hopefully we'll get there soon. Finally. And it won't let me do anything. There's some crafting stuff. Five link sockets. Awesome. Can't do anything, so let me tell this person. Activate this one, this event. Essences. Nothing really worth what. Alright, so let me go back to the mining encampment. Back to base. Open this up. Invite to party. He wants the victory vice gloves. if he still wants us. Oh, he's not even online anymore. Well, that's a dick move. Alright, well, we need to clean up anyway, so... Let's put uh, divination cards away. Put essences away. Essences you can combine into the next rank. Do we have any threes? We do. Make that one. Which makes that one. Go. And the higher rank they are, the larger their effects are. Alright. Uh, armory. We've got some rings. We can sell some stuff. Capped on belts. Uh, 
those. All right. Got helmets. I think I've seen that one before. Veal of Night Breed helmet. Hackers on block. Weird. Somebody in the guild wants that. Guild stash is full. Uh, let's put away stuff. I pick that up because it's got six sockets. Let me tell you. Get seven of the jeweler's orbs out of it. Fate awaits you. All right, so I've got enough of a s stuff to make sets. I've got a helmet and a belt here, so let's get armor, gloves, boots, two rings, amulet, two one-handed weapons, and then we sell the whole thing, and we get regal orbs. See you soon. Got a belt. Let me tell your future. Fate will find you. And the regal orbs are roughly close. I think they're worth like uh, one and a quarter of them is equal to a chaos orb. So that's how you can get uh, some of your wealth back by selling unidentified sets. And then you can use your orbs to, to buy the stuff from other players that you want. Alright, let's go back to the mine encampment. Alright, so we left off there. I could go chase a one point sulfite. But I wanted to go deeper. Go to that one. No, pick up the ring, stupid!
pick up some items since we just sold some stuff. Oh, that dead ends. Oh crap, is that dead end? I don't want to have to go around. Hell, that might not even reveal enough to see what the next note is. I don't even have enough to go that way. That costs a thousand sulfite and I've got 978. I'm not guaranteed that this even connects to something. I think we're going to wait and find out. So not enough sulfite to continue going that way, which is the way I want to go. So let's go back to the mine encampment. Let's uh, store some stuff away. Gloves, rings, I'm still full on belts. No, but it's not enough. Hear that? We can sell the extra stuff to him. Stay in the light. All right, then we can go back to running maps. Caravan. Is that three of them showed up? Four of them showed up. Had this happen once. Rough Vagan, it fled, and Hillock. Rough and it fled were friends. Hillux is not friends with anybody, so why did he come through there? I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> yes, yes. Plus one rank for you! Was that really necessary? Death's the only option here. Plus Bye -bye. one rank for you. Just do it. Bye -bye. You kill so good, Exile. Thanks. Quit and splatty. You wanna be friends? Just for today. Won't get much interrogating him since he has no ranks, so I can just take the quick bargain and get two points of transportation intelligence, which will be 95%. Or I can put him in and across three turns get three points, and he'll take up a slot in my rig. No, let's just take the two points. Put him back out there. make any sense to you. There's it's not the boss yet, but let's clear out this level. Did I get oh there's a spot. Some space over there I didn't clear up.
All right, so we've got uh, Blacksmith Strong Box. It's not magical at all. It'll just pop up three packs of monsters. You kill them, and it'll, it, or we can make it better. Let's go back. Let me no, tell you. I want to get one of these. All right, now let's use this on the box. It's now a rare box. Still three packs of monsters, but it's going to contain four additional items, contains two additional rare items, is guarded by a rogue exile, and will spread a caustic ground. So let's get ready for this fight. a good one-handed sword. And then it dropped all this other crap, too. Alright, so this is one of those multi-level ones. It doesn't say arena, it just says stair, which means there's a level two. Da -da -da. Right, another strong box. It's already rare, but it's unidentified, so we can identify it. Freezes you when activated. Contains identified items. Contains three additional rare items. Mirrored items. Detonates nearby corpses. So let's open it from this area. Is this going to open and explode all of these corpses? I don't want to be standing in them. However, it's going to freeze me, so hopefully the freeze doesn't last very long. Oh! And then I remembered, I cannot be frozen. Freeze avoidance, 100%. <laughs> it's the little things. Nothing else worth anything. Okay. Okay. It's a five link. So it's only five sockets and a sticks, but they're all five linked together. So that's going to be worth uh, some. What do you call it? Not jeweler's orbs? I don't think it's jeweler's orbs. It might be jeweler's orbs. Sulfite for Nico. There's some sulfite over here for Nico. Some sulfite over here for Nico. The way to the boss. Did get her. So there's a little ghost flying around. It's kind of like uh, Path of Exile's version of a loot goblin, except for instead of loot. It flies around, and anything it passes through, it buffs up. All right, so we clean this out other than the boss, which we don't want a chance using experience for. What time to clean up. Rings. So we can sell some more sets. Up on helmets. So that weapon, weapon. I found a rare map which I've already run, I believe. Check. Let me tell you. 
it's unidentified though. I could use it. I will see you again. Rather use it for this. Hello. So I'll sell this extra helmet. Now that might be worth something. It's got uh, multiple resistances. So I'm going to use a macro. I've got uh, a mod that's like a macro that uh, checks the abilities of an item and compares them with the PoE goods website. And it gives us a value based on everything it finds. So I could sell this for f low end four chaos orbs, possibly. But I might hold on to that. Anything like two or more, I'll put in my my shop. I want four chaos herbs for this. Yeah, I've already completed that one. So the highlighted bar on the bottom of it shows me that I've completed that map already. And these are uncommon maps some really rare, rare maps and the ones that I haven't done which there's only a few are high valued because I bought some of these from other players but some of them are like really expensive getting ever closer Monsters are hex proof. I don't like that one. Because I require that hex. I have the. See that little circle spinning around on me? That is flammability. It's a curse that lowers uh, mobs' resistances to fire because I do a lot of fire damage. Well, hex proof means that they're immune to the curse. I don't like that, so I'm going to use an orb of scouring to wipe that away, make it non magical. And then we'll make it magical again. And get something else. Players are cursed with enfeeble. That I could deal with. Let's switch this over to my lightning golem. Mostly the kind of loot I'm looking for is maps, just to keep the cycle going. There's a syndicate laboratory we can invade.
Alright, so let's raid the Syndicate Laboratory, which is the research branch, which is new because we just cleaned out that safe house, so it's starting from fresh. Hoped I'd get a gruesome. I just can't break gruesome. That was vivid. I see you're not one to bluff. Well, I'm not one to gamble. Okay, th th that's a lie. I love gambling, but I'm going to kill you, Giannis. Just not yet. Pretty much done with this map. Over here somewhere. Yep. So it says there's 21 monsters left on this map. Try to hunt them down. Find them. They might be in with the boss. Nope, there's some. 13 monsters left. Which is a good compromise. I'm done. Let's go to the next one. Might be the one. Screw up the shaper stuff. Yay, there's a the level. Shaper item. It's the boss.
Looks like we got a syndicate for it too here. I can clear this out. Great thing about dying just after leveling, you don't lose much of anything. Because you can't lose a level. Go back in. Death is a natural part of life. That'll make Tora three. You honor the way by swiftly delivering. I really like the idea of well. You honor the rank one. Swiftly delivering death I must confess. Well. I believed you to be bluffing. <clears throat> Haku is a nobody now, right now. You regard for life you truly have. Whatever it is you want, it's yours. Remove him from the syndicate. He just shows back up for somebody else will show up but eventually he can come back it will be good to see my family again Done with the map. All right, so that, yep, that's what I was afraid of. So we accidentally did a map that was in the Shaper area, the Elder area, and it cut it off, it made the Elder area smaller. I'm trying to grow this out. And the way to do that is to do the adjacent Shaper influenced areas. So I could do these to grow it back out. Problem is, usually you don't have a stock of those, and I wind up having to buy them from other players. We did get a Shaper Claw, which means it's got Shaper influence behind it, so it's got, or Elder influence behind it, excuse me. So it might have some added abilities to it. Can identify it. Socketed gems are supported by a level 18 Ruthless. That's a shitload of physical damage, too. Wow. So let's check our macro. See if anything similar is out on the market. Yeah. Low end, about 6 chaos. We'll put that on the market for 6 chaos. It's going to be worth much. Two to three. Probably for that chaos resistance. So, though. Let me tell you. I will see you again. All right, so now for the fun part. Where am I going to put this new passive point? I'm going to look at build real quick. Because I haven't actually leveled in a while. I've been just 
dang it, level 90, trying to kill as many of the bosses as I could to complete my maps. Die so often that you just never get experience. Actually, show me that one. And that one, he wants to come up here and get this socket. That's two, three. That's going to take three points to get to that socket. Two points to get to this socket. Already got that one. Yeah, let's go for this one. So I got to get spend this point to get to this strength node, which adds us ten to my strength. But now I got to get another level to get one more passive point to open up this jewel socket. I need another level to get to that point. <gasps> and this is a good example to show you. If you die for some reason in a map and you come back, it reduces the number of portals that you had to go into the map. So if I go in and I get killed, one less portal. So you've got like six tries to finish each map. to the grind. Not paying attention, I'm doing shaper maps again. I'm gonna screw that shit up. if it affects it immediately it doesn't affect it immediately so I'm doing a malformation map what's that one it's this one I wonder how far I have to go before it disappears
I really do hate the idea. Fool! Do not disrupt God's plan. Death holds no terror for me, exile. Uh, it is you who should fear. So he's a captain currently. I can make him rank two, but does he stay in there? Good, he stays there. Cool. So hopefully we'll, that'll happen again and get him to rank three. Bye bye. You kill so good, exile. Quit it has no back. ranks. Not you really worth friends? interrogating. Get a map. You surprise me, Helen. The map still hasn't changed yet. See ya, maybe. Thanks for uh, following. Some of these can be worth a few. Still hasn't changed. There it is. So that screwed that up. It's when I defeat the little squid guys. Still more of them left. an elder item. I'm gonna say I should at least drop one somewhere. I don't think I've seen that shield before. Heals amplifier. Great 46% increased spell damage. Energy shield, max life, increased area effect per enemy killed recently up to 50%. You have a zealot's oath if you have it. Let's see if these gauntlets are. Uber! Level 20 poison gauntlets. Adds a little bit of cold damage. Increased damage with poison. Almost low in three tens. I'll put them in stock. Put them at two.
Those are mirrored. Wondering why they were turned slightly differently. So I haven't seen one of these in a while. This is what, get back over there. Got a necro reviving shit. Okay, is everything dead? Good. This was one of the, the first leagues, breaches into another dimension. You touch that, it starts to spread and it reveals mobs from another dimension that you have to fight and the more you kill the wider it gets and eventually it'll collapse back in on itself and uh doesn't really work that well in a confined space. Yeah. You need that in like an open area map. But they drop these splinters. And collect the splinters and you get so many of them you can open up a portal back into their realm and invade them. tried to assassinate us here. We got Jorgen, Eiling, and look. There's only one fate for the weak exile. I have earned no exception. 
Okay, well, he's now ranked three. Bye -bye. Go on, do it. You now rank one. Bye bye. You kill so good, exile. Quit and splatty. You want to be friends? Just sure. We'll probably bring Haku back in there. All right, we unlocked enough of the transportation to break into the safe house. Me, Let's finish this map up. Boss. Shield up for. Welcome. See you. Let's go. Hello. Break into the transportation safe house.
You have become tangled in our tapestry, Exile. Time to you are becoming a nuisance. No. Honorable kill, Grinchy. Watch. Alright, so we'll entire games, the only rank one. For some mastermind points, we're only gonna get two out of him every turn, so three six turns, it'll make it ninety-nine. Cruel. Truly cruel. One freaking shy of the mastermind. He's only rank one, so there's not gonna be much here. Here are your skill gems. He's got some splinters. Some essences and a jeweler's orb. Got a ring with an unidentified ability. And I've already maxed out those three, so it doesn't matter. Hello. See you soon. Pull on belts, so I don't know why I pick up all these belts. I think we have that one. Uh, maybe not. Probably did. Roll any good? No. Yes, and lightning. 28% though. Yeah, it's only worth one. Sell those. See you soon. Some essences. Some birds. Hunters. So once you get a hundred of a specific splinter, that gives you what you need to go invade that realm. Got some quality skill gems. In this case, quality vowel skill gems. You can trade these in and once you trade in 40% in quality, you get... Uh, one of these, which you can then use to add a 1% quality to a uh, skill gem. Which all of mine, except for two that I'm leveling, are 20%. Yeah, all of them should be 20% now. I'm still leveling the increased area effect. Where's the other one? Uh, yeah, the combustion support. Only 18. It's only quality 15. That's right. So I need... Five more of these to max that out to quality twenty. Get those. Okay, we got we got fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-nine, thirty-five. Not enough yet.
not getting a good amount of map drops. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Let's look at the atlas. I don't want to screw this up anymore. Colosseum map. Do I have a Colosseum map? Level 13. I do not. What are our other options? 13 dig, 11 factory, 13 dig. I could do that one. No, one ability I don't want. I don't mind that. A straight up dollar bill, y'all. down here. Another dollar bill. It's still rolling? I thought I had defeated them all. Are you done? Can I talk to you? No? Okay, fine. I'll talk to you later. There's a couple more over here. Hurrah. Like the Phoenix. You honor the way. Fuck who's back. I believe you to be bluffed well. I see. Take your prize and go. Salah. Hey, we've got several things with unidentified features. Eat into that one a little more. do that one because that's a full rank. And I already 
you got all three of those. Any more monsters somewhere floating around? Let me tell you, people. Fate will find you. All right. So when we did that, it spread out a little more. So we can try to grow it this way. Fifteen summit maps going to be hard. Crimson Temple 13. 15 Summit, 13 Crimson Temple. Don't have. Yeah, I, what? What? I do have the Crimson Temple. 15 Summit, I don't have. Let's do the Crimson Temple. Oh, Temporal Chains. I don't care about reflect. A sanguine supplication to death and gravity. Pathetic ex you mind? We're trying to have a conversation. Quit doing shit. Everything did good. Okay. That pathetic excuse for a man. Plus two ranks to Gravicus and Janus. Name. You and I. Oh, must plus two ranks to Gravicus. Before he Janus lose all ranks. Well, you've already got rank two. But I do want you to be a captain at rank 3, which you're a captain now. Janus will lose her too. What to do, because she's not the leader of anything. So, deal. 
Haha, <laughs> now they hate each other. Bastards. But we want to try to keep him at three. So he'll be a f rank three captain when we get in and invade the research safe house. And he's got a full stock of gear. So that should be loot galore. I'd rather be a pathetic excuse for a man Grimacius than the monster it you really are. Is. If you weren't trying to kill all of us, I'd suggest you try it. But Just it tell them I said it's fine it. for you to join. I'm quite bothered. Try and effect. cleaned up. So sets. Hello.
cool winds. Sixty percent of the way through an invention raid. I haven't even seen her yet. She doesn't even. Well, she's rank one. We need to get Jorgen to take her place. We need Tor to take Gruff's place. Get it that fled another rank and then have it take Fagin's place. <laughs> All right. So this is spread out now. Let's see if we can fatten that up a bit. Factory map 11. Maybe 11s. No 11s, no 11s. Villa map 12? Nope. I want to try to keep it inside the circle because the end game is defeating the Elder and his lieutenants. When they appear in the Elder Decay inside the red maps. So I could spread the Elder Decay out here, but then there's a chance that a Lieutenant or the Elder will spawn out there and it won't hurt. 14. Yeah, we'll see Courthouse or 13 Coliseum. Coliseum, 14. Courthouse I do have. Do that one. 10% quality. Let's go ahead and throw a couple qualities on there, make it 20%. Then let's make it magical. 20% more rare monsters, players are cursed for temper change. God dang it. Monsters deal 90% extra damage as lightning. Monsters take 38% extra damage. Fine. Justice born of love is a surrender. Justice born of law is a punishment. What he said. Oh, it activated. Quantity to contain 1229 percent increased rarity. Cast Firestorm. Bunch of crap. Bunch of nobodies. If you think I'm going to say or do anything to fur Did you set out to become a monster exile? Or was Did it you an set accident? out to become a monster exile? My clan was it an accident. You? If they didn't want to throw you into the caldera. Let us see what the light reveals.
there's a... What are those called? Not breaches. God, I can't remember. Oh. Anyway, these were like this third third league or something but it will summon up this terror that will open up and run across the map and eventually open up a portal where a bunch of mobs come out and you kill those and then it might go on further or it might uh, pop up into a treasure trove or it might pop up into a portal where you go down below and kill the mobs down there so you follow it kill all these guys and then it goes further, you follow it again. Kill all these guys. And it goes further, follow it some more. Kill all these guys. And it went further. And it pops up a, a trove. Abyss, that's what they're called. Abysses. All that crap. Alright, let's finish sweeping up this area. Back this way a bit.
two maps away. Villa, 12, Villa. <clears throat> Silica map has a stronghold on it. Silica, I have a Silica. I could do that. It's not going to help over here. But the golden circle means there's a stronghold there, a shaper stronghold. Yields additional powerful items. One sec, got to blow my nose. Let's do that. Going to hurt, isn't it? A bad apple spoils the bunch. Put bluntly, Use one monkey's ass can Corral. damage the whole crowd's enthusiasm. So, Corral says, I'm no threat to you, but Leo needs a bit of knocking down. Plus one rank to transportation members, minus one to research members. Minus one to all of these guys. No. Don't want to do that. Plus one to transportation. Two. How about we just let you guys work it out? Have been better off bargaining with me you again. won. So in congratulations prison. are in order. First he but changed his. Still going strong. Move Hillock to research. To really Leo and Hillock become hurts. trusted. Then you've got to let us team up. Take us down as a group. I'll even let you choose my teammate. Up for the challenge. Search intelligence. Anyway. Um. Who are become friends with? Because I haven't counted him. So Hillet came back. Now they're connected. Now they're all friends. 
Yay. Don't know about you, but I'm excited for the next round. Hello. And a couple things. Let's see what's this. A little bit more there. Now we can finish off that one. We've got this is Ooh, ooh, what's back here? Oh, cartographer's chisel. Yeah, electricity is my weakness. My resistance in electricity is not capped out. I think that's everything. Let's get this little spot over. Some over here. Yep. You got to defeat the boss, though, to get the power fly. That's crap. Fine, I shall defeat the boss on this one. Not gonna drop anything. If he does kill us, I put a portal out here so it's not a long walk to get back here. Oh, there he is. Prepare to face your unmaking. Okay.
No, you're not. Two stone ring unique? Yeah, I've seen that one before. Titan gauntlets? Uh, shape or Titan gauntlets? Those better be really good. Better be really good. Uh, uh. Socket of gems are supported by a level 20 trap. 30% increased trap damage, 71% increased armor, 17% increased rarity of items found, plus 38% to lightning resistance, 29% chance to avoid interruption from stuns while casting. Sounds interesting. Market only has two to three. Put it up there for the trap builders. And barracks pass. Seen that one. Let me tell your future. Oh. Who put a ring in the amulet column? Bastards. Okay, so that cleared that. There's another one over here. Haunted Mansion Tier 6. Could do that. That'll be pretty easy. Let's make that a rare. Players are incursed with enfeeble. Monsters 20% chance to avoid elements. Weak bosses. King of Power Treasure Hit. That's fine. Still only a tier six map. Okay. Go back and see if Yes. 
a divination card. Huh? These guys are easy because it's a tier 6 map, so even encountering these guys on a lower map makes them easier to kill, too. If you think I'm going to say or do... It plays too wrong. <laughs> Oh, rank three. Why don't you take Vagan's place? You honor the way by swiftly delivering death to warriors who fought well. I must confess, I believed you to be bluffing. I see now how little regard. Consider us even. I cannot carry this. Exile? Hey, girl, what is that? It's a full rank of that. I'll take it. All right, we're done. He is done. So I cleared that out. So these oddly symboled ones are uh, uh, the masters. So if I really want to do some hunting with the Einhar, I go through this map, and it's full of beasts. Uh, this one is uh, the temple. So what's her name? Atla will be in there several times. So you'll run the temple stuff with her. This symbol, I believe, is uh, the miner. So there will be a bunch of the sulfite you can get for the mining guy. Which leaves that one, which I think means there's a bunch of syndicate stuff over there. Let's clean up shop here. Max life's good. Regen's pretty good. 41% cold's good. It's worth my soul. Oops. Oil. Belt. I'm already full on belts. we finish the intervention house though I need to get Jorgen and Ren to change places Leo's friends with her I can get Leo to do something with research he's in a lab maybe get Ren to show up take her out Try to remove her and put Jorgen in her place. That would be cool. Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. And uh, Navali here is also a prophet. So there's prophecies that you can get with her for those silver coins that I find. A chest of goods hides many challenges, but one goes unseen. 
even to the wise. So with our strong boxes we open, there's a chance that a rogue exile will appear out of one. A life spent fleeing from the law leaves the spirit ready to escape. Permanent spirit can carry a unique friend. item. You will defeat Riftwalker while holding Time Clasp. So this one is specific. You have to get the Time Clasp weapon, and then you have to kill the Riftwalker with it to complete this prophecy. We could seal that. Actually makes it uh, an item you could trade. Then we can get another one. The storms are about strike with precision. Adapt Discover an area with electrocuting tempest. We can put these in guild storage. So if anybody gets the time class item and they decide to use it, they can use this prophecy and put it into theirs. All right, take a look at the map again. The goal is to still try to expand this. I mean, I could break down and buy these. Oh, let's see a map 13. We didn't get one, did we? No, we didn't. All right. So I am going to go see if I can get one. Go to poe.trade. You're looking for... Colosseum. Four. You're wanting four chaos for it. See if they're awake. BV of Ayaya. Are you awake? He's awake. Yay. So we join a group. Right click on him. Go visit his hideout. He will come back to his base, grab it. Initiate a trade with me. I'll put up my four. We'll view to see that we're getting what we want and accept. Say thank you. Leave the group. Go back to my base. All right, so now we have a Coliseum map. Let's put some stank on that puppy. Go in there. It takes some getting used to, yeah. It's because they constantly keep adding and adding and adding to it. Every three months, there's basically a new league which adds new mechanics. Life means as little as a passing moment of entertainment. Every, every three, Let's say every three weeks, it's every three months actually. About a, every quarter, there's a new league. laboratory okay we want to see Leo in here we want him to bring what's her name to the fight Ren so they're friends so hopefully Leo's in here I don't think he will be though he's part of research well no that is research okay so Leo Camaria and Gravicus will be in here probably in which case hopefully Ren will join both of them then hopefully we can ex execute Ren and have Jorgen take his place. Her place.
<laughs> Don't slow down. That's dangerous. No, no. Run away. She ran away. I think that was her too. Oh. So we just got Hillock out of all that. <laughs> and he's the low man on the totem pole in the research group, and he hates his captain. It's awesome. I hate this job. I hate it. He'll give me 12 points in research, though. You I'll take it. Me, um, yeah, the new mechanic. So this is the new mechanic for this league. Where you've kind of got these guys you deal with. And they're random to start with. You uh, deal with the flunkies to find out who the captains of each of the four branches are. And then when you figure out who they are and you can fulfill the intel from each to full, you can raid the safe house. And then you capture the captains and they give you information about the mastermind. And I am just one point shy of learning who the mastermind is and I can attack her. And then, like any good grindy game, it just starts all over again. to be cleared. There. I made the John over here. That was worth that map. Watch out for that bleeding. A chest of goods hides many challenges, but one goes unseen. Even to the wise. Hey, sunken city map. That's one we needed.
Thanks for the follow. I came in. There's another stair over here. Of course, uh, if you weren't here earlier when we were discussing this game, other than being a lot more content than Diablo 3 and a little more complicated, it's completely free. You can download it right now on Steam. They have microtransactions, but all of them are purely cosmetic. That's where I got uh, the little effects. That leaves the boss. I don't want to do that. Or do I? Because we're doing... Uh... Oh, it already expanded. Okay. So I don't have to kill the boss for it to expand. We've got malformation maps. So we could do that next. All right. Get on this one. Cheap, unique. So. Let me tell you, Pete. I will see you again. Tier 12 malformation map. Whoa. No. <laughs> I've only got two. And that's one of them.
I'm not worried about it. I'm just wanting to complete the map. Or just do the map. I'm not doing the bosses or anything. Attention. Now that caravan's gonna get away. Yeah, right now I'm just kind of like on an XP grind to get through some of my level 90s. What you would call it? Barbarian on wheels? I don't know. Call it the spin to win build. To be honest, I'm not sure what that is. Pure Breachstone grind? So right now, I'm just grinding for XP and trying not to screw this up. I'm at the point to where I'm ready to do these last bits. And get to the shaper. I did 116, but it was so hard I barely got it done. So I just need these last few levels to get a couple more jewel slots. I've got the maps for the other 316s, and that's pretty much all the maps I have left. <clears throat> Not counting some of the more expensive uh, uncommon maps. But we're at the point to where we're just waiting to try to get the Elder and his lieutenants to show up. Span this out, a little siege map. Belts. Pull on belts. Welcome. 
I will see you again. <clears throat> see if we got a, I don't think we have any. I was low on 11s as it was. Siege map or 12 castle ruins. 11 factory. Yeah, that and I'm not too high on the Alks. I've only got 38 Alks, so I've just been throwing transmutes at them. At the maps, just grinding XP. Yeah, I've got shit for 11s. 12s, I've only got those two. See if I can buy a siege map. Walk box awake, yay! So just bought a siege map we could run.
Syndicate Laboratory. Come back to it. get to show up. Gonna disappear quick. right when I get there. I can't believe I pulled that out. There's Ren. Tell me we can execute her. If you think I go into battle without a plan for every possible situation... Uh, now let's do with Leo first. An arena fighter knows, once the fight is over, respect is what counts. Think no, I don't want... I don't want Jorgen to lose a rank. So I'll interrogate him. Wait, what about see what Ren says now. What about last time? You are a bloodthirsty little beast. Uh, dang it, I can't execute her. I think if I called your blood, I can imprison her though. Won't Jorgen so take her place? I offer you this. Oh <gasps> yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> no matter how many times you interrogate me, I will never break. That's okay. We don't want you to break. We just didn't want you to be captain because you suck. All right, come with that. Expand it out this way. Don't go over there. File Cathedral, I think we've got. File Cathedral. Yep. Uh, 
Uh, actually, it's a single M2 PCIe SSD card. So, since it's M2, it's at a 32 gigabit rate instead of a 6 gigabit SATA rate. Problem is, it's the only drive I put in this thing. <coughs> but I do have slots open. I can put, like, a couple SSDs in a RAID if I wanted to for data storage. Uh, let's go ahead and elk this one. See what we get. Temporal chains. I hate temporal chains. Represent monster life. Monster can't be stunned. Unique boss. Unique boss. Resistance. Resistance is fine. That's fine too. Crafted with reverence, defiled with ease. There's Alva. I haven't seen her in a while. And we've only got one incursion left to finish the temple. You are this might suck. Came across the right direction. Exhilarating conflict, exile.
The Syndicate is not just a cluster of like my You should have no trouble in that dark little cage, Assassin. On this way a little more. <clears throat> Took a pretty hit, big hit with that death, though. I think we lost a couple bars of experience. <clears throat> Hard to manage this and trying to get the experience up at the same time. All right, so we've got some more elder to try to grow to get the shaper to appear with his lieutenants. Something to work on next time. Want to call it a night? We've been going a little, almost four hours. That's cool for a weeknight. So more POE later. Hopefully we can get the Shaper going. I'm afraid to get him up because I want to get a few more levels under my belt to unlock a couple more jewel slots before I think I'm ready for the Shaper himself. The Lieutenants I think I can take pretty easy. I am not sure about the Shaper, because the Tier 16 boss was very difficult. It took uh, down to the last portal for me to finish him off. Which is why I haven't done the others three yet, because I wanted to get a couple more jewel slots open, which would be a big enough boost to hopefully finish them off. So something to look forward to. Uh, I want to thank all the follows and the visits uh, for everybody in chat that showed up and said hey. Thanks for showing up. Uh, probably not tomorrow, but uh, do a few more hours stream on Thursday. And then a couple more on the weekend. Uh, so I guess I will see you guys then. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.